Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday um, and I thought we could do just like a few days in my life essentially. Um, I wanna do kind of like a Thursday evening, Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog just because um, one, I have some fun things planned so I think it would be fun to like bring you guys along. Um, so yeah, that's really the only reason why. I don't know why I said one, that's the only reason. <laughs> um yeah so this evening honestly like okay back up a little bit work has been awful it has been it's just been really bad um i have had no ma like i had no ma today i had an ma for like three hours yesterday and then they went back to like the main office and we're just super understaffed i'm seeing a ton of patients um and it's just, a lot of times for like stupid things like that are just like why are you paying a copay to see me for i don't know like it just feel and it's not for the patient like the patient having stupid thing it's like they get scheduled on my schedule for like a med refill and i saw them last month i'm like just ask me to refill the medication i'll refill it like anyway so there's just a lot of stuff going on at work and maybe i'll share it one day but right now i just feel like it's not the right time um and I'm really not happy at work right now. So I'm really not, I'm liking vlogging like about my work and about my job, but also just bringing you guys about my normal life. So anyway, you guys, you know, we're doing day in my life anyway. So um, I'm sorry if you can hear who's you're eating and drinking in the background. <laughs> He's so freaking cute. Did you get some water, honey? Camper's outside because um, Seth is not here. He's at a volleyball tournament in Washington State, actually. I'm gonna throw on some comfy clothes. Because you can't cook. Like, I just want to be comfy. I mean, I am comfy right now, but I want to be more comfy. I have been literally obsessed with the Aritzia, um, sweatpants that I got. I, from, like, their TNA collection. Oh, I'm trying to show my friends my sweatpants, baby. They're so comfortable. I got them in the gray pair and then these are size extra small and then this is a tank top from Abercrombie. It's just from their like, I think it's their soft collection. Um, they come in like packages. So I got a white and a black and it's so like, I love to throw these on all the time. Like this is an outfit you could put on with sneakers and it'd be super cute, but it's also just super comfortable for at home. Actually, before we start cooking dinner, so Seth's first game is supposed to be on like live streamed. So I'm gonna see if I can find it. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna have this on in the background. All right, we've got the Impossible Burger going. I just added some onions. I'm gonna let that cook for a second and get like the condiments ready. The meat is done. I like my meat a little, a little burnt, okay? And then I'm heating up one of the large tortillas. I just get this brand, honestly, nothing fun. So you need this size, you need this size. Oh, and I need to get the tostadas too. And then you need these tostadas. <laughs> this bag is looking terrible, but you need a tostada. All right, this is the final product, you guys. Actually, let me cut it for you so you can see better. My cut is a little uneven, but this is about what it should look like. Maybe a little bit better, but my top tortilla is falling off. I'm getting ready to take a shower. I just watched um Seth's second game they won both games so that was good um ever since I went to that wedding in California and like I was in the wedding for one of my friends um I got my hair done and I just feel like it has been so dry on the ends since then I am in desperate need of a haircut and like a gloss treatment in general so that could be contributing to it but um my hair is really great my hair always gets so greasy here um and it's like the fourth day so it's very dirty here but i i bought this product it's called the way fine to medium hair it's a treatment treatment mask and i'm gonna wash my hair tonight and then i think i'm gonna do this on it it just says apply generously to wet clean hair from roots to ends Comb through with fingers, chill out for five to 10 minutes, then rinse clean, use once a week or more if your hair is super thirsty. <laughs> the top of my head is not super thirsty. It has all of the grease that it needs, but the bottom of my hair right now is thirsty. And then I really, I need to gloss it. 
because I made an appointment um, for next weekend, but next weekend we are going to Orlando to see the Jonas Brothers on Friday night and we're gonna stay in Orlando overnight. And I made an appointment for Saturday morning in St. Pete to get my hair done. So I'm gonna have to cancel that and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get back in. Um, so yeah, I use my own gloss. You guys have seen, but like every three to four months I get my hair girl to do it too and I just get a little cut. But this is the gloss that I use, but you have to use it on clean hair. It's kind of a process, honestly. It's kind of annoying. So then I have to wash my hair and then I have to let it kind of dry and then I put this on it and then I have to wash it out. So I usually do it on Sundays. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I am gonna use this Away product. When I was in Sephora buying this, I smelled their, I think it's like, it's their Maui or their something collection it's not this one um i don't know or the fiji i don't know some tropical island collection you guys it smells so good i'm contemplating going back and buying like the body cream because i can't stop thinking about it i mean this smells good too but the other one was there we had a lot of different products in the other one but i was thinking about getting the body cream so take a shower though i feel like it is legit a workout to take like the shower to wash my hair my eyebrows look crazy to shave my legs like to do everything is tasking i'm like out of breath <laughs> um i thought i would walk you guys through my skincare routine because actually i don't feel like it probably hasn't changed that much but i'm not sure if i've ever showed it before my like skincare hair care all those routines i keep them very very simple um so the like first step of my skincare routine at night is the adaptalin gel the different adaptalin gel i swear by this stuff it changed my skin i need to get on a prescribed um retinol um a retinoid cream i just i don't know i just have it yet <laughs> because this works so good um so i do that every night and then i usually let it sit and like dry and completely get into my skin and then I was using um, Vivier's Quinta Serum, which I actually really like and I need to order um, a new bottle. I have like, oh, I have barely any left. Um, it has like vitamin C serum in it, vitamin E, um, and a lot of peptides, but my husband started using it too and he freaking used up all of it. I worked with them on TikTok a little while ago, they're a great company. Um, it's like medical grade skincare, so if you're interested, I don't know if I still have a code with them. I think I might though. It's I think it's like April 15. Um, if you're looking, I need to order my own stuff through there. And then um, the, the Kiehl's products, I kind of go in and out of phase of using it. I just always like to have a serum essentially because I've been very into gua sha, mostly because my TMJ is just like acting up like crazy. I wish that you guys could put your hands on my jaw and feel how bad my TMJ is. I've been thinking about getting Botox here, but I feel like I already have a very slim face and I don't want to look like sunken in if I get Botox here because it will relax my master muscle and like kind of atrophy the muscle in general. So I don't know. My TMJ has just been bothering me a lot. It's like whenever I, oh, the popping is so bad. I wish that you guys could all feel it. But anyway, so I've been using this Kiehl's um, glycolic acid at night just to wash on my face i like go in and out through phases of gua sha i don't think it actually like slims your face or is going to sculpt your face but it just feels really nice I'm just not a believer in that stuff like that is you know draining your lymphatic system i don't know like maybe it is a little bit i need to research it but i really just do this and then oh, I can like get into my jaw right here and it feels so good. Oh. Sometimes I'll have my husband literally just massage my jaw because it, it gets so tight. I don't grind my teeth at night that I know of. I might, I do wear retainers every night though. And then, last but not least, my holy grail item is the First Aid Ultra Repair Cream. I live and die by this stuff. This is the best moisturizer ever. Somebody commented on my TikTok one time and was like, wait, I use this on my hands. And um, have I been using it wrong? And no, you're not using it wrong. You can use it wherever. I just use it as a face lotion because 
it's so good i like a really thick and creamy face lotion i don't like a watery based serum i like like lotion like i want it to be thick i don't care if it like makes me greasy especially at night and but this doesn't make me greasy um this is literally just like the best stuff my my skin used to crack like all around my nose um especially in like college i lived in tennessee though and there was still like humidity in there um and ever since moving to florida i have been using this so it's probably the humidity and this but you guys this is like the best product ever i'm i'm a ride or die first aid beauty stand um it's like a dream sponsorship for me <laughs> but anyway it's 8 45 I've been really into this book that I'm going to show you guys. It's like very, um, mm, it's not Halloween-y. It's very, it's very fall inspired. It's like a really cute read. I was reading some other, I was trying to get into some fantasy book like during the month of August and I hated it so much. I got like, I think I did get 50% of the way through it and then I just never picked up my Kindle. Like I'm not lying to you, you guys, I have not picked up my Kindle um before like starting this book like the whole month of september because that book just like gave me the reading ick i don't know if you guys can relate but um yeah update on the hair mask it does it smells really good i left it on while i was shaving my hair is super soft but i would really like to see how it dries so i'll show you guys in the morning as well i'm gonna make magnesium drink my anxiety, you guys, is really bad right now, which is strange because I feel like I don't have a lot of anxiety at night, um, but tonight I do. I don't know why. Anxiety sometimes just comes about. Um, I've been loving the Magnesium by Moon Juice. I just do a teaspoon of it. My dog's constantly like drinking out of things, eating. It like ruins the vibe of the videos. Love them to death, but come on. I haven't been doing this every night, but I do it probably like two to three nights of the week. You can also just use magnesium to calm the body in general. Like it doesn't have to be at night to help you sleep. Um, I really love magnesium and I actually recommend it a lot to my patients. It's a nice little night drink too. I don't know. Like it's really good. So I'm just going to drink this. And it's only 9 o'clock. Well, it's not even 9 o'clock. It's 8.54. So I think I'm just going to watch some TV right now. And then I'll show you guys my book. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I just picked up a Starbucks um, coffee. She would come back with like a bandage on her nose or her like jaw reset, <laughs> her boobs. I'm trying out the um, salted cream cold foam for the first time. Um, I have just been on a journey <laughs> with dairy stuff. <laughs> from Starbucks, which it's not great. And I don't like anticipate it lasting for very long, but like throughout this fall season, I just like want to live my life. I'm not like, I still consider myself plant-based. I still eat plant-based food at home. Like I don't eat cheese. I don't eat meat. Like, so I don't know. It's just like very, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself vegan anymore but I definitely do consider myself plant-based because like if you're vegan you're you're very strict on things um this is like too good like this shouldn't be that good oh my god so like a layer of caramel like underneath the cold foam that's should be illegal for breakfast if there's so much sugar in it and then whenever I get um like food from here I get the impossible sandwich with no cheese and no egg it's literally just impossible burger on a sandwich but it's pretty good honestly so um I don't eat breakfast so I'll eat it later but we're gonna go to work Fridays are like I love Fridays because obviously it's like the weekend but 
they oh god there's the bathroom walking me in um they are generally like one of our busiest days in the clinic we made it through the day you guys i just zoomed in on myself let's zoom out <laughs> there we go um it is 6 42 i didn't just get out of work i actually i got my nails done this evening i did um, a brown color i got dip and then i got dip and then gel on top of that and i did it because i usually do get dip but there's no good brown colors in dip in my opinion um i just haven't been able to find any and so i did opi the color speaker no squeaker squeaker of the house and i really like it it's giving fall and now i am starving i ate a granola bar today and a salad a very small salad like a salad literally with iceberg lettuce a few red onions and some cherry tomatoes that's what they bring me whenever reps bring out back they bring me a salad which is it's nice that they even bring me anything and then i had that little thing from sandwich from starbucks this morning so i'm so hungry i think we're gonna go home and well actually i think i'm gonna run to Publix first because the dogs need bones they've been home alone today um because seth hasn't been home i thought that my cleaner was coming today our house cleaner comes like every two weeks it's the best thing ever um and i let like i keep my dogs outside while they're there and so i ran home during lunch to let them inside and nobody like my house was not clean and I texted her I was like oh hey like did is the date wrong like just checking in and she was like oh my gosh I have another client whose name is April who actually rescheduled and I thought it was you she was like can I come tomorrow and I was like yes but not at 8 a.m <laughs> like let's do 10 a.m because I want to sleep in tomorrow and then I have plans with a friend for lunch um so oh and I'm taking a yoga class tomorrow so I was like yeah come a little bit later so I think she's gonna come at 10 get my house clean I love a deep house clean I wish I could was going home to it today um, but I'm gonna stop by Publix pick up some dog bones maybe pick up like some poppies you guys know I'm obsessed with like the dog pop poppies if you haven't tried like the best thing ever just to like Friday night chill vibes and then Seth has one more game tonight that I'm gonna watch but they lost their last game last night which they probably lost because it was literally midnight when they were playing our time because they're in washington state and it was three hours they're three hours behind um but they've won both of their games today and they're in the semifinals um tonight so i'm gonna watch that hang out with the dogs and then we have like a full weekend ahead of us this is my harsh reality you guys can see me in here i have three charts that i need to finish it is 8 39 i'm watching just go with it I'm gonna make the most of it but you know that's just my life as an NP this actually like never really happens but I just like want to finish my charts and enjoy my weekend Saturday morning it's 8 30 I uh, went to bed so late last night I went to bed at probably like 1 30 in the morning um because I was reading I'm reading this book right now I'm gonna show you guys what it's called I just I don't know what it's called <laughs> um and it's so cute and I love it um and so I couldn't just, I just couldn't get myself to go to bed and of course this always happens to me I couldn't sleep in so I woke up at like 7 20 and literally like turned over grabbed my book and read for like an hour um until the dogs were like awake and now I'm just making a cup of coffee um today is gonna be a fun day I I think I told you guys my house cleaner is coming at 10 so I'm gonna take the boys to um the park probably like around that same time but be in my workout clothes because something in my classes i'm taking a yoga class at 11. um i'm kind of nervous about it because i haven't taken a yoga class in a long time but i have done probably i've done every form of exercise i've taken every class <laughs> um and i did pilates for a while as you guys know and honestly like i just kind of got sick of it it felt quite repetitive um, and I would only use it on the weekends because I didn't really want to go like 
after work to a Pilates class, so there wasn't like a ton of options, you know, at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock on a Saturday or Sunday, um, they teach the same classes. So anyway, I just kind of got a little bored of it, but it was like great for my core. Um, my abs were, are, they are still strong, but they were much stronger then. Um, and so I kind of want to get back into something that really focuses on the core. So I'm going to try this Pilates class out at a studio by my house and see if I like it and maybe sign up for a membership. It's also cheaper than Pilates, which is great. Um, and then at 1.30 I'm getting brunch with my friend McKenna. And then after that, I don't really have any plans. I would love to like do laundry um, and just kind of, I don't know, relax, maybe take a nap because... To, oh, I need to start working on editing this vlog because it should go up tomorrow. Um, because then tomorrow I'm also going to brunch with two of my other friends, so it's gonna be a, a it's not gonna be a busy weekend, but I just have like a few things to do, and I get worried about like getting behind on my social media stuff if I have too much stuff to do in my personal life. Uh, because I, you know, am balancing social media with my regular job and my personal life so anyway it's gonna be a fun weekend though so it's kind of gloomy outside today it's very it's very vibey um cheers i can't believe that we made it to this weekend this week was so crazy called the x hex it's very appropriate for fall it's super cute um it's about this like little town it's almost like it's giving halloween town but it, that's not the story so it's a really cute little like october read um i'm just drinking my coffee it's very fall-esque out here Phew. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just finished a hot yoga class. It was a sculpt and flow class. So we did flow for like the first and last 10 minutes and then it was like a sculpting part for... Sorry, I have a podcast Anyways. on. Um, Wish you then it was a sculpting class for like during it. And so the thing with me, it feels weird to say this, but I do consider myself to be quite strong. Um, and that class was like, it's not the actual yoga that is hard for me. It's the heat, um, that makes me feel like I'm kind of suffocating, but in a good way, like I like it. Um, I should have gotten, I only did five pound weights. I should have gotten eight pound weights, but then I was like, Oh, I might feel like I'm going to pass out even more, but I don't feel like my muscles got a good workout. Like I enjoyed the time in there. And like the movement but I don't feel and I I just don't feel like I like worked my muscles which is stupid because like this is just an extra thing for me like it's just going to it's just doing something fun on the weekends because I hate going to the gym on the weekends like I hate going to the gym on a Saturday or Sunday so it doesn't really matter and I sound like pretentious saying that it wasn't that hard because it was hard but the heat was hard not like the resistance or the like actual muscle training which is my fault because I went light like I got like a medium um, resistance band and I only picked up five pound weights when I could have picked up more because I'm stronger than that so that's my lesson to learn I think I'm going to sign up for membership it's like four classes for $75 a month which it's expensive don't get me wrong but I was paying hundred and nine dollars a month for four Pilates classes and that's a part of the reason why I canceled it because I was like that is insane I'm going to four classes a month and I'm paying hundred and nine dollars for them anyway <laughs> I'm headed home now I am due to be downtown um, at a restaurant called Somi which is like one of my favorite restaurants in Tampa it's a Greek like brunch place um, to meet my friend at 1.30. I think that the cleaners are still gonna be at my house, which is gonna be weird because I need to shower and like get myself ready because my hair is disgusting. Um, but I'm gonna be like, eh, sorry, can I use my bathroom? <laughs> Just got back home, you guys. I feel like it's so hard to like vlog anything while you're out because I was like with a friend and we were chatting and like I didn't want to put a camera in anybody's face, but actually I thought I would show you guys my outfit that I wore. I'm obsessed with this denim maxi skirt. I actually got it like two years ago from 
Abercrombie, of course, and I really just started wearing it now. I think it's super flattering, so you definitely can't get it because it's definitely not available on Abercrombie anymore, but just, I, I'm really into like these midi skirts right now. Um, I think they just like can be casual, but also can be like dressy. And then this is the tube top. I don't know if I showed you guys this, um, but I got in from Abercrombie just this past week. And then I'm wearing these sandals. I got these from Nordstrom. They're from the brand Born Handcrafted Footwear. They were kind of expensive. They were probably like a hundred and $25, but I like only own Birkenstocks and these as like sandal wise so i feel like they're a good investment for me because i wear my birkin socks if i ever want to like dress anything down and then i wear these if i ever want to be dressed up a little bit but we went to somi's which is like like i already told you guys one of my favorite places um to eat in tampa it was really good i always get the farm to table sandwich and i eat half of the sandwich there and then i bring home the other half and it's like perfect for leftovers and it comes with fries which I love the fries, so put that away. I'll probably eat that for lunch tomorrow. And then we went to Hyde Park because I was like, I really want to get a fall mug. Um, I didn't have any like good fall mugs and I could not find any. We were walking around, um, we went to Anthropology, we went to Crate and Barrel, which Crate and Barrel had some, or not Crate and Barrel, pardon, Pottery Barn, sorry. They had some really cute fall stuff, um, but no fall mugs. Um, and I forgot my gift card, I have a gift card to there, so. I don't want to go back i don't know but we did stop into sephora and you guys when i went into sephora this past week i don't know if i showed you guys that i think that i did i showed you guys that i got like um away hair mask that i used yes i did show you guys that well when i was there i also smelled this body cream from way it's their saint bart's um brand that they released and i actually follow jc marie smith um i have followed her for years i love her content but i remember when she went on this brand trip to launch this product um and i was influenced to buy this you guys i wish that you could freaking smell it it's a body cream i think it also comes in like a body wash it i smelled it this past week when i went in okay just for reference and i have not stopped thinking about how good it smells since i went in a couple of days ago so um when i was with mckenna she was like just do it like that bought that thing will last you forever it's like 38 dollars, so kind of expensive for a body cream if you ask me but it literally smells amazing so if you're on the lookout for like a good body cream that smells really good i'm all about smell like i know that having fragrances in your stuff that you put on you is not great but like i like it to smell good so that's the only thing i got i'm actually thinking right now that i'm gonna do a little craft that i sh it's not really a craft but i'll show you guys also our cleaner came today and um our house looks amazing smells amazing um but we were going to like when we were walking around Hyde park mckenna was like hey like do you want to come over and we can just like hang out but i had to put my dogs in a room because they were outside for a while when she was here but then i was like they need to come inside it's too hot outside so i had to leave them in a room um, because obviously I don't want them like distracting our cleaner and so I had to come home but anyway I'm not doing anything tonight um, I just kind of wanted to have a chill night because then I'm also going out tomorrow with um, another one of my friends so I don't know I'm I like alone time I'm just I'm an only child I like to be alone sometimes so um, I'm gonna do a little craft the outside of my house is like semi decorated for fall but I need to finish so I think we're just gonna do that right now I'm gonna change into sweats in a minute i just wanted to show you guys my outfit but i got these witch hats from amazon and i already made one of them and they came with like these little lights and i was originally thinking i was going to hang them from a tree in my front yard but that tree okay <laughs> that tree doesn't have long limbs so it wasn't gonna work so anyway what you're supposed to do because it comes as like an in a diy project is hang the little light that just fell on here and then you hang the witch hat up by this i think i'm gonna hang them off my roof i don't know i need to put them together and then we'll figure it out but i want to use them because i bought them thinking that they would be cute so maybe we'll do that together i've got three hung up right now and i have three more that i want to do so <laughs> i'm actually cutting off the tip 
and then putting sorry if you can hear a camper in the background per usual then i'm putting a fishing wire through the tip And then I'm tying that to a little candle and I just do like a few knots and then I actually am taping it down just to make it say because the knot is going to come off. If you have super glue, I feel like that would also work. Um, this is very DIY, like would not recommend buying this and doing all of this to be completely honest. Would recommend, I couldn't find anything like this that I wanted, that's the problem. Like I had a vision. And the only thing that I could find was this DIY. So I'll show you guys. It's actually turning out so cute. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm watching Casper the Friendly Ghost while I'm doing this. So it's giving Halloween vibes. I think I should make something, some type of like fall treat or something tonight. I do have like cans of pumpkin. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know. this and then we'll go outside and hang it i'm gonna sh i'm not gonna show you guys me hanging it because you'll see like a lot of my neighborhood and i'll just show you the end results okay you cannot tell me that that is not the cutest thing ever i'm obsessed good morning you guys sunday morning at like 10 o'clock i woke up this morning to a nosebleed um and i stayed up until I'm probably 2.30 in the morning watching this volleyball game that they lost. I am very <laughs> It's always like, I'm always apologizing <laughs> for camper in the background, but I'm unwell, like physically and mentally this morning. I knew it was going to be staying up that late and I was like, I don't know if I should do this and I shouldn't have. Because <laughs> then at 9 o'clock this morning, I still felt like garbage waking up. Um, my friends would want to go to the Tampa edition to go to their restaurant, like their uh, rooftop restaurant. It's like a Greek place at one. I'm so heavily contemplating canceling. <laughs> I, it's also like the most insanely like fall morning here. Like it's a little overcast. It's 65 degrees outside. It hasn't been this cool since winter <laughs> last year in Florida. And I'm like, I want to like be at home today. Like I, I just want to like do laundry, maybe like bake. I don't know, it's making me feel like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, Seth's team, they unfortunately lost and it was really close. Uh, I think they're like, it was always like the first set, it was like 21, 25, the second set, it was literally like 26 28 and then the third set it was 21 25 so that's a sad loss but i'm so happy that he's coming back home today um from washington state because i miss him and he gets tomorrow off so i'm kind of jealous of that tomorrow is uh, like indigenous people day unfortunately i don't get it off like i'm that's what i'm more upset about is that i don't get it off <laughs> but whatever i have I think I, I don't know if I told you guys, so I'm sorry if I have. Hey, Bubba. Um, but I'm, we are going to four days a week. I have two more weeks of working five days a week. And then we're at four days. So I think it's like October 23rd or something is the first week that I have um, working four days a week. And Seth and I are considering going to New York that weekend, which is only like maybe it's only two weekends away like it's not next weekend but it's the weekend afterwards so if we want to book it then we need to book it probably today or tomorrow so i need to do some budgeting today and see if it's like something that we should do or not do um because we traveled so much this summer and yeah i don't know i'm like i can't put my words together this morning I just got home from lunch with my friends. Um, it was super fun, but of course, I wanted to show you guys my outfit again. 
so I have like no place in my house where I can show you full length so it's just gonna have to be here um, this is the skirt that I got from Abercrombie. It's super cute because it like has shorts underneath. I love like this new, this like asymmetric thing. I have a few sh um, pairs of skirts like this and they're super cute. And then I just paired it with a white tank top and threw this blazer over top. This um, white tank top is from Madewell. And then this blazer is from Fourth and Reckless. And then I have on just little booties because it's very fall-esque in florida today and the boots are from abercrombie but like super old and i'm wearing kind of a business fit because my friend and i went to in peace school together and we always kind of wanted to start like our own aesthetic practice together and i think we're going to do it actually not i think i know like we're going to attempt to do this um but we're not gonna do it in like a traditional med spa setting i really we really want it to be different um and accessible because we have both worked the nine to five for a little while now and we both know how hard it is to like go to a med spa like maybe they're open on saturday but they have like decreased hours on a saturday or maybe they're open like obviously they're open during the week and you can't get there so the whole goal is basically to make aesthetic medicine accessible for people who work nine to five. Um, we're gonna start with Botox and kind of see how things go, but it's gonna be like a mobile service essentially where my friend and I would come to you and do Botox. And depending on like, we could do it for parties, for bachelorette parties, that would be super fun. Um, or yeah, anything like if people just wanted to have a Botox party and have a bunch of people come and like their friends come and get Botox, have some drinks, that's all fun we give you a discount obviously for like a certain amount of people coming so um yeah we're just kind of like starting it from the ground up we're going to be very very small but we're going to be working on it so we're super super excited and um it's called we picked it picked out a name we really wanted to do with like a glow up because we felt like we as nurses we were struggling and then as NP students also working as nurses we were struggling and then once we like got out into the NP world obviously we've been able to get Botox been able to like take time for ourselves not being in school and such and so we kind of just felt like we've glowed up so it's gonna it's called the glow bar and we are super excited so I'm gonna have my Instagram linked down like below this video for that so if you guys would follow me on there and support me I that's like that would mean the world to me you guys always already support me so much so i know like asking for you to support me in something else might be a lot so if it's not your thing totally fine but yeah i'm really excited about it um we're just kind of like working out the logistics which is going to take a lot to do but i'm really excited to be going to the four day work week because i'll have more time to allocate for that and my social media um so i'm gonna be a busy girl <laughs> i'm like i'm not already a busy girl but yeah i'm so excited for that so we'll see how that goes and yeah i'll obviously bring you guys along i feel like i made a tiktok about this earlier but everybody always like shows when they get there like when their business is so successful and like they've put so much time and effort and how like they talk about how they got there but they never actually show the hard work to get there so i would really love to bring you guys along and not just say like big project coming big thing coming big thing coming like let's just do it and figure it out along the way um you know yeah <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll regret that maybe I won't I don't know so I'm excited about that but it is about four o'clock and I need to finish my laundry Seth is he was over in Nebraska last time that I checked so he should be uh, he's supposed to land in Tampa at five o'clock and then um, get home probably around like 6 6 30 so I'm excited to see him I'm just gonna finish up my laundry and then I think I'm actually going to make some cinnamon rolls um, for him when he comes home but yeah, I'm really excited. We are going to make some cinnamon rolls for Seth to come home to. I get these from Trader Joe's and they are like an accidental vegan um, treat. So I'm gonna make these really quick.